Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today I'm going to show you how to end a pine needle basket on a wrapped row. The goal with this technique is to keep your coil the same thickness but end here seamlessly where your wrapping started at the beginning of the row. To do this, you can see that I've tapered my pine needles down quite a bit and I'm, I've been wrapping. I'm gonna start going down into my coil below and flattening these needles as I go and stitching down into that coil so that I can keep this coil thick and the same diameter. So to do this, I have to take lots of stitches down into the row and I need to keep my threads very tight and dense together. So I'm gonna stitch down into that row. And come out right next to there. Takes a lot of stitches to do this. I'll do it again in the same spot, maybe just a little bit lower in my coil. Come out in the same spot so that my threads stay densely packed together. I can probably go ahead and trim off some of these that are long. Trim off some of these little ends. Do some more. And I need to keep angling down. I need to keep angling down there so that I can meet up with that. So I'm going to stitch a little lower again. Stitch a little lower. See, I'm almost, almost down here into my next row, even with that one. Okay, as I get out here to the end, I can break off a few more of these or cut them off. Depends on how dry your needles are. Okay, so I think that I'm not gonna have enough thread to finish all this wrapping. So even this late in my coil, I'm gonna to have to add a new thread. So I'm just gonna lay that across there and start stitching with my new thread. Start stitching. Take a stitch. I'm holding that very tight. Take another stitch, holding those two ends tight, holding them tight. I'm gonna take one more. Take another one. I'm gonna be sure and keep those ends free so that they don't get poking out. Okay, so I've done enough wrapping that those are probably pretty secure in there. Now I'm gonna trim those off so that they're not sticking out at the end. So I'm gonna trim those off so that they're shorter than the length that I have left coil. Trim those off. Now, as I'm wrapping, I need to make sure to connect those in under there so they don't poke out. So now I can continue. I can continue my wrapping and stitching. Okay. I want one more to fill that gap. This is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, this is four ply waxed linen thread. I 
It's my favorite thread to use. I've been experimenting using metallic threads too, and they're kind of fun and add some interest to a basket. They're a little hard to coil with because they tend to twist. They take a little longer. As you're going, I have to... All right, here I am at the end. I need to kind of push those together. I don't want gaps. Push those together so I keep a solid wrap. I think I need another wrap there. Another wrap there. Fill that gap. I think I need another one over here. Fill that gap. Another one there. Fill that gap. Pretty good. So that's how you do um, a solid wrapped row to end your basket. It's sometimes called an infinity row. And um, hope you'll try this technique and see how you can do using this technique. Oh, I will show you how to finish off your thread. I'm just gonna thread it through there, thread it up through my coil. Gonna need to use my pliers. Use my pliers and pull that out. Pull it really tight. Snip it off. And there you have it. Solid wrapped row. Hope you enjoy this technique and we'll find places to use it. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Linda. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, Linda's Creative Coiling, you can click the subscribe button below and ring the bell. Then you'll be notified next time I post something new. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks.